Hello, my name is Max Halliwell. As you may be aware, there are big changes happening to the heating market right across Europe when the Energy Related Products Directive comes into force at the end of September. The directive, known as ERP, means that all space and water heaters will need to display an energy label which will help customers identify the most energy efficient products on the market. From the 26th of September, ERP will apply to domestic and commercial heating and hot water products, including electrical powered heating, gas and oil boilers, water heaters and cylinders, as well as renewable heating technologies such as solar thermal and heat pumps. The aim is to phase out low performing products from the market, which will help consumers minimise their heating costs. It will also have a positive impact on the emissions levels across Europe and will help reduce energy use by the target of 20%, as well as increase the share of renewable energies by 20%. There are two parts to the strategy. Firstly, under what is called the Eco-Design Regulations, manufacturers will need to produce products that meet stringent energy performance standards. And secondly, under energy labelling regulations, these products must be clearly labelled using a standard method so that consumers can make a direct comparison between individual products and different technologies. This type of labelling has already been highly successful with consumer goods such as fridges and washing machines. From the 26th September, it will be illegal to manufacture or import heating products which do not meet the new criteria. Manufacturers will have to make sure that all of their products have correct energy labelling which will show the efficiency ranging from the most efficient A++ to the least efficient G. The labels will be clearly marked with coloured bars from green, the most efficient, all the way down to red, the least efficient. Most heat pumps will probably be classified in the A+, or A++ bands, whereas high efficiency condensing boilers will probably fall within the A band. The details on the label will identify the efficiency band for heating and where relevant, hot water production, noise, emissions and power consumption. For heat pumps, they will also indicate the three different climate zones within Europe which is important because the UK is split between three of these zones. Heating systems often comprise more than a single product, so we might see a heat pump working with a solar thermal system. With this in mind, ERP recognises the importance of providing as much information as possible, so it will also be necessary to provide a package label for certain combinations of products. Methods for calculating the space energy efficiency of these packages are provided in the ERP legislation documentation. A tool for calculating the energy efficiency of packages for space heaters, water and combination heaters is also available on the Label Generator website. While it's the manufacturer's responsibility to provide the energy label for its own products, it's the installer's responsibility to calculate the system efficiency and provide an energy label for the package or whole system. ERP is a significant piece of legislation that will have a major impact on the sale and use of heating systems in the UK. As such, the requirements of ERP will be embedded into both existing and new legislation on the energy efficiency of buildings, as well as incentive schemes for renewable technologies. The Renewable Heat Incentive, or RHI, has already begun to embrace the new approach of ERP. If you've not heard of the RHI, it's a government scheme that means you can get regular payments for seven years for all the renewable heating you generate in your property. In order to apply for RHI payments, your heating system needs to comply with the Microgeneration Certification Scheme, or MCS. This sets industry standards for products used to produce heat from renewable sources. In May 2015, the MCS published a new Seasonal Coefficient of Performance, or SCOP calculator. It also updated its installation standard for heat pumps as a direct result of the introduction of ERP. The introduction of the SCOP calculator will enable certification bodies to use a standard method based on ERP to establish whether a heat pump is compliant. It will also be used to determine the seasonal performance factor or SPF for the purposes of RHI. This is important because in the past, the efficiency of a heating system was based on what is known as the coefficient of performance, or COP. But this shows a single point in time, which is never a good indication of how efficiently it will perform all year round. The updates to the RHI regulations also come into force on the 26th of September. 
It's important to note that installers will still be able to fit heating products which enter the market prior to this date using either the new or old MCS installation standard for the RHI. However, this period ends on the 25th of March 2016. After this, all MCS certified heat pumps must be installed using the latest RHI standards which are in line with ERP. From the 26th of March 2016, consumers or businesses installing a heat pump who wish to claim RHI will need to ensure their chosen heat pump is ERP compliant. I hope this short overview has helped increase your understanding of the ERP directive. But if you have any further questions, please send an email to the address appearing on the screen now. Thank you.